Here with Carlos Balderas, who'll be fighting in the 2016 Rio Games. Talk to us about fighting in the Olympics. Well, I mean, it's, it's something big, you know, it's something me and my family have always wanted. I've been training for this since I was seven, and um, man, we're ready, you know, we just training hard every day, you know, getting focused, and, you know, that way I can perform to the best of my ability in Rio. Talk to us how you started boxing. Yeah, well, um, the reason I was actually took into the boxing gym was because I was always fighting and, you know, getting in trouble in school and getting suspended, and, you know, my family thought I was way too young to be getting in that type of trouble, you know, so um, they decided to take me to the box. Well, I mean, boxing has always been around my life, you know. Like at my birthday parties, you know, family get-togethers, boxing gloves were always around. And but I never really started boxing until the first day they took me to the boxing gym. And um, I was a little young, I was seven, and they said um, that the age limit was like eight or nine or so. And we, so my uncle, my uncle, the one that's over there, the pastor, he went up to them and he was like, he went to the owner and he asked him if it's okay if he could sign me up. And the owner said no, that he's too young, that he needs to come back when he's nine or something like that. Um, at the same time, you know, some kid was passing by, so he said. Um, well, what about that kid, you know, why is he in here? And he was like, oh, well, this is my grandson. He's been boxing for this long, and um, he's serious or whatever. My uncle was like, well, let's put him up to spar, and if my nephew beats up your grandson, then we stay. And if um, your grandson beats up my nephew, then we go come back when we're 10 or something like that. So they put us up to spar, and I made him cry. I made him bleed, and uh, that's where it all started. Now, you will be fighting as a lightweight at 132 pounds. How many amateur fights did we have? Do I have... I have a uh, 170 fights, 170 fights, and I got about like, like 11 losses or so. How many knockouts in uh, those 175 fights? A lot, a lot of knockouts. Yeah. You uh, earlier today were training and sparring with Leo Santa Cruz. Talk to us about that experience, fighting and sparring with a three-time former champion. Man, it's it's great experience, man. You know, um, also because. Um, you know, I mean, he's been around this for a long time, you know, and he has, you know, certain tricks, you know, he has a lot of experience in it. So um, I think sparring with him has helped me a lot and it will continue to help me from here to Rio. So we're looking to come back a couple more times before I leave. Um, him and his him and his camp have been really, really good people, giving us a great amount of rounds. This is not the second time. We've been here plenty of times. But, um, you know, we've been getting good sparring uh, from him, Lomachenko, Oscar Valdez, you know, so we've been around, but uh, we've been coming with Leo more, more often than other ones. And talk to us about winning that gold medal. How bad do you want that? Uh, super bad, man, with everything. You know, I'm coming with everything I got. Um, I know it's going to be hard, I know that. But this is the reason why we're training so hard for it, because uh, we know it's not going to be easy over there. So, um, and not to mention the fact that they don't like Americans. For some reason, they just don't like us. So you got to, like, you can't leave it up to the judges. You got to take it, you know. So we're, I'm looking to go over there and, you know, destroy everybody. So, um you know, so this is the reason why we're training so hard. At the Olympics, do you see yourself turning pro this year? Um, yeah. Well, I'm not sure if this year. I'm probably going to take a little break because uh, I've always been busy and stuff. I've always been away from home. So I'm looking to spend some time with my family and stuff. And, you know, after – I know we will turn pro, but it's really up to my dad and my uncle. Whatever they want to decide on, I'm with it. My last question. Walk us through your style. Um, I'm more like of a boxer. I'm not really much of a – brawler you know but I mean I could switch it up here and there but my style is more from the outside countering boxing and stuff but it's pretty much what it is and thank you and good luck man thank you